Hello, welcome back to World of Warships. So today we're having a look at the Tier 5 Japanese cruiser, the Fuhr Attacker. So this has been much maligned, and I have to say, with pretty good reason. It's a bit of a odd fish, it doesn't really suit any roles. So let's compare it to the Omaha, the Tier 5 American. So it has more hit points, by about 3,000. Armor's very similar, as far as you can tell, but of course we know fewer, we can't can't actually tell where the armor is. We'll leave the guns till last. It has two times three launchers with a 10 kilometer range once you're upgraded, which is good, but certainly handy, but not the best in the world with only that many launchers. And they're quite slow to reload, 68 seconds and 59 knots. So it's not too bad, better than the Omaha anyway. It's the one point where it definitely is better. AA defense terrible, much worse than the Omaha. Maneuverability is a tiny bit faster and turns worse. So rudder shift is almost a second worse and turning circle is 150 meters worse. Now surface detectability is 12.2. I think this is probably buff because that's better than the Omaha by over a kilometer, but the air detectability is still worse by 0.3, so it doesn't make a lot, lot of sense. It does suggest that was buffed. So I know people did complain about its detectability range. And so on to the guns. Now these are the really the problem with this ship. While they have been buffed, they still have a slow traverse rate of 36 seconds compared to 24 on the Omaha and you think well that's not too bad but because of the way they're situated it's it's very very noticeable when you're playing it makes it very hard when you have to maneuver which in the cruiser you expect to so you need to be at almost a 45 degree angle to fire all your guns and so if you was going towards say a battleship or a destroyer which you want to be straight as possible it puts you at a disadvantage now if you want to swerve and then fire from this side it takes so long for these guns to turn around you may almost not bother and I mean the, the front as well you turn faster than your guns turn so that's always a problem and I think that's really any ship in which your turrets turn slower than your actual ship turns at least in a cruiser and a destroyer is a problem. It makes it very difficult to use the guns. And of course in destroyers, which you rely on the torpedoes, it's not so much of an issue, but in a cruiser, it's a definite problem. And it does make this ship hard to deal with. So, it also has a very short range of only 13 kilometers compared to almost 15 of the Omaha, which, Again, doesn't really make a lot of sense. You would have thought it would have better range, if anything, with these big guns. So that seems to be the case in most other ships. And you do, you do have to get in close. And you will find yourself mainly in Tier 7 games, at least on the American servers. And they just outrange you and hit you, and you can't do anything much. And trying to go after battleships when you have to angle so much and you can't do a lot is a pain and it also only fires 2.7 rounds a minute compared to 8.6 in the Omaha so against destroyers you're pretty weak if you miss you're in trouble you have to really keep clear of destroyers a bit more in this ship compared to other cruisers so you're quite easy meet unless you get some good shots off so dispersion okay a bit better than the Omaha but you need it really. So uh, I expect the actual DPM, the effective DPM, considering how many turrets you can bring to fire most of the time, is a lot less than the Omaha as well. Even though the Omaha's guns, you can't fire all at the same time at any point whatsoever, which you can in this. But you just won't do that very often unless you get a nice bit of big open space, plenty of room to maneuver, and you can keep one side firing. But most of the time you'll find that is not the case and it makes it very awkward. As soon as you have to manoeuvre much, which in a cruiser you expect to, you struggle. Anyway, let's go into a battle and see how terrible it goes this time. Because I have to say, while I have 
good game after good game in the Omaha. It's definitely a bit of a struggle in this. So, on the ocean, probably a, as good as maps you'll get for this ship. What tier is it? It is tier 6, so it could be worse. Right, so you also find, because of the slow reload times, I assume this is true, I'm not 100%, but I think the swapping ammo takes a long, long time compared to other cruisers as well, and that's also an issue at times, particularly when a destroyer suddenly appears. So I don't want to go too fast. Now, again, saying about it doesn't really have a role, if you go ahead first because of your short range on your guns you will find yourself being primary quickly because the battleships people do tend to realize you have those long range torpedoes and you will get focused very quickly by battleships at least I find that to be the case so far but of course if you keep in the pack your guns don't have the range of pretty much everything you'll see here for example Oop, slow down Stop turning, stop turning. Ah. Why are you actually going backwards? Okay. Don't know what he's doing, but. Let's speed up again. So I'd like to support that destroyer a bit, but I really feel a bit lonely going there at the minute. But it looks like everybody's going this way, so let's slow down to three quarters. We don't want to go at full speed and get ahead. So... Looks like everybody's heading to A. don't really want to, but I'm definitely not going by myself in this ship, it's just too vulnerable to destroyers and battleships. Did we just lose our destroyer? We did. Oh dear. Okay, we're almost in range of the Phoenix, so you can see I've got to go at this sort of angle bring the guns up, but I need to be AP, but... So we're spotted anyway. What did... Why didn't all my guns fire? That's not a bad shot for that. Oh, foul shot, that's annoying. Why did only two... two guns fire? Alright, so I'm just gonna stop. While he's in range. Let's put a bit of speed so I can turn a bit actually. I think that's going to miss. Looks like he's quite on his own. Let's turn a bit. So I've got to turn back to the right, bring guns to bear. Let's let him turn a bit. I don't think we're going to hit him from here. Okay, go straight a bit. Okay, it looks good. I think it's probably going to be short. He's turned a bit. Oh, that's so annoying. So we can't go straight towards him, so that's affecting our effective ability to close up with him. I'm not sure it's really worth firing this. He's going to turn around.
He's turned away again sensibly. Then we're gonna miss probably. Oh, it's really just out of range, so I've got to head towards him more to catch up. Thank you, battleship. I haven't actually changed my direction much for ages. So we're still probably out of range. And now I can't bring many guns to bear. And we're getting within range of the other. That was Nomaha. Oh, we did actually hit him for once. So it's possibly just in range. Let's bring some more guns. There we are. It's going to go back this way. That could be going to go behind him. No. At last. Didn't do a lot of damage there. But at least he is in just about in range now. So he's going to turn there and turn back this way in a second. Come on, get a citadel. Oh, nice damage, 3000 damage. No citadel, but still pretty good. Now, was that that Phoenix just fired, or was there something else there? Okay, let's get closer to this New Mexico. So now, shall I use. Let's go back to HE so you can see 21 seconds there to change ammo types. So he's firing at those, so I'm going to keep at an angle. So again, it's slow firing, setting thing, battleships on fire also isn't such a good tactic as in something like the Omaha. I'd much prefer to go after cruisers, but I'm not going towards that centre. At least not until this New Mexico's dead, which he probably isn't going to be. And he's probably going to focus me in a minute once he realises I'm here. Okay, he's about in range. angle a bit. Let's turn in. It's probably going to fire at me. Oh, would you believe it? If he doesn't fire at me next I'll be much surprised. That was way too much lead. Oh, nice. So, 3000 HE damage. It's not to be sniffed out. Let's turn. Oh! So, disconnected just at that moment. That was not helpful, so I'm probably going to take a lot of damage. Never know, I might put his aim off when I slow down to nothing. Oh, it looks like he hasn't hit me. Looks like I've probably gone back into stealth. Yep. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Not in torpedo range now. But it has stopped him firing at us. Okay, looks like this might actually be a win this time. Although I wouldn't bet on it. Unless they 
the cruisers don't kill those destroyers, it might not be. But I'm not really a cruiser that's very suited to doing that, so I'm not going to worry too much about going over there. Okay, let's turn a bit now. Looks like he might be going to shoot at us again. Turning. Where is he? Where are we being hit from? Oh. Okay, let's swap to AP. Let's go after this. So hopefully we need a citadel. Okay, let's leave that for a minute. Oh, we need to turn a bit, so I'm going to have to repair that. So, we need to... Good sit. Can we have a good sit? Come on, please. It's a bit short. Oh, we didn't barely hit him. But it's not going to take many hits, you can see, to get rid of him. That's helpful. Let's change to HE. Oh, that's miles too much lead. Might just catch him. Yeah. So, 2000 damage with AP. So, you can see what you can do. He's almost in torpedo range, but range. Let's get a bit closer. And is he bringing his guns around? I think he probably is. So he thinks we're probably firing our torpedoes, which is good because it means it takes longer for him to bring his guns around. Are they pointing at us? I don't think they are. Oh, that's too far forward. That was a bad shot. Might just catch him. Okay, let's put some torps out. Before we uh, get hit, uh, he's turning. Well done, him. Oh, this should be an easy shot there. There we go. So he won't be able to fire at us for a while. Let's get a bit straighter. Be a bit sh short. Yeah, that's all right. Nice hit. But he's wishing he was firing at us. Although I think he's pretty much going to die very soon. So his guns are still facing the other way. I think. Might as well put some torps out if we got them. We haven't, or we have, but I'm not going to bother actually. Oh, that was quite nice. Ooh, that seemed better. Okay. Let's put our torps. Let's put it wide. Not a very good shot. Oh, it's alright. Let's just get this damage. Of course, we've got to wait for the guns to turn. Let's put our fighter up. Oh, we've got some torpedo, torpedo bombers come in. Let's just get. That was a bad drop. Does mean we have to wait for our guns to turn, of course. 
Well, he's definitely going to miss our torpedoes. Very good shooting by me, that should be good. And he's on fire. Oh, well that was disappointing. It's not a bad game. So, certainly one of my better ones in the Fear Attacker. Not brilliant, but it'll do. So, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rush to play the ship, and I'll get by it as soon as you can. It's okay, but definitely limited. So, if you don't get the citadels, the DPM is effectively awful in most situations, unless you can get the torpedoes away, of course. But anyway, I'll stop twisting this about. That's the Fuhrer attacker. So, bye bye for now, and I'll see you again next time.